Hello, this is Gary Schnitke with a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with a comparison between revenue protection versus another bundle of revenue protection with the harvest price exclusion and enhanced coverage option. These two options, if you take them at the same coverage level for the RP or RPHP product, will have roughly the same premium, but will have different protections. Revenue protection, the most popular product in Illinois and across the Midwest, has a guarantee increase. Its guarantee will increase when the harvest price is above the projected price. If we have a situation where we have an 85% coverage level, a 220 bushel trend adjusted APH yield, and the harvest price is above the projected price, and I used an example here of 750 versus 580, roughly an increase during a drought year, we would have a guarantee of $1,402. $1,402 is based on that 750 harvest price. On the other hand, if we used RP with harvest price exclusion, we would not have that guarantee increase in it, and we would only use the projected price. In this case, the guarantee would be $1,084 per acre. So you can see there is a sizable difference between the guarantee when harvest price is well above the projected price between RP and RPHPE. So, RP will have higher guarantees when harvest price is above the projected price. That will happen in about 40% of the years, and those have happened in recent years in 2021, 2020, and the big year, though, was 2012. 2012 was a drought year, and many farmers received a payment that year, the harvest price was $1.82 above the projected price, and RP then resulted in much higher payments than did RPHPE. Remember, those extreme drought years are about 1 in 20, 1 in 25 year events in Illinois. RP, 85%, often has about a $30 premium for central Illinois situations in 2012. That compares to an RPHPE premium of $16 per acre. So we get roughly half the farmer pay premium for RPHPE as compared to the RP. That's $14 difference can be used, if you so choose, to add SCO and ECO. Here I give an example of SCO premiums from 86% to 85%, $1. ECO at 90% coverage level down to 86 has a $9 premium. If you put that bundle together, you have a $26 farmer paid premium compared to 30 for the RP. So that bundle would have a lower farmer paid premium. For that bundle, you have given up the harvest price uh, Guarantee increase, or the guarantee increase that could occur because the harvest price is above the projected price, but you have gained county level projection. You now have essentially two policies a county policy, and in the, that example, we would have county coverage from 90% to 85% through a co combination of ECO and SCO. So you would have county coverage from 90% to 85%, and then farm coverage from 85% to 0%. That county coverage is good for covering general economic conditions, like price declines, but it does not provide good farm coverage in the sense that if your farm yields are low, there's always a possibility that county yields will not be low. If we look at those premiums, and I used a McLean County example here, 580 price, and this policy has a 212 expected yield, you can see that the combination of ECO and SCO can, could make a $63 payment per year, and those could occur at lower prices, 5 and 480, 
or lower yields. So, the combination of ECO and SCO gives you a coverage that would kick in at 90% of the county revenue. 580 in this case, 212 uh, county yield. So which way should you go? If you're very concerned with price and revenue declines, then think about the RP, HP, SCO, and ECL bundle. If you are concerned about droughts, think about RP. If you're very aggressive with the marketing, and you think about mar marketing a lot of the grain pre pre harvest, then you should probably be thinking RP. Our aggressive marketing likely means something over 50% of expected production. I would also note that the above example keeps premiums at roughly the same level. So we drop down RP from RP to RP HPE to keep the premium roughly the same. You could also have ECO and SCO and keep the RP. Then you would have the harvest uh, guarantee increase and also the county coverage. You would also have a higher premium. You can read more about the trade-off between RP and RP HPE combined with ECO and SCO in the Farm Doc Daily article linked to the description below.